also in New Orleans. The race will be on to see who succeeds him in 2021. And we know that Taysom Hill is a guy that this organization absolutely loves. People call him a Swiss Army knife of a quarterback. He's only thrown 13 passes in NFL competition. But the Saints believe in his potential, and his legs get him out of trouble as well. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Back to throw. Hill. Eluding the pressure right. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Hill. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. On first down, it's Hill. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. That catch good for only a couple. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play call, and you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's come like clockwork right now for them. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. At the Eagles, 19-yard line. Hill. And this is caught at the eight. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline taking themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Trying again. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. He was brought down. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Touchdown, New Orleans. Josh Hill 
there to make the grab. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just take a seat in the drive when we get at the 25-yard line. Now we get a look at Jalen Hurts, the surprise second-round pick back in April as he gets set to operate this Philadelphia Eagles offense. I know Eagles fans weren't exactly thrilled with the selection of Jalen Hurts in the second round, but they needed a big-time backup if they want to go deep in the playoffs. And he was 38-4 as a starter in college at both Alabama and Oklahoma and was the runner-up for the Heisman Trophy last year. 43 career rushing touchdowns. He can throw it, and he can move. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one, up to around the 33. Sanders, the ball carrier. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass them with a running play. Only two yards and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. An ideal start defensively they already have the touchdown now they get the stop just like they drew it up on the chalkboard does that sound dated yeah. right it might <laughs> add a touch a little bit it's all right all right grease board heck computer exactly what you want though score on your first drive stop them on the first drive defensively they begin on the ground with Camaro and he will fight his way forward to about the 23 yard line the carry. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. The, the last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Brings up second and eight. Hill now to throw. And brought in by the tight end Cook. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First down, Saints. Now a first down carry, it's Camara. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. They're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've gotta like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Running with Kamara. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter. And it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. Oh, now it's free. Hill fumbled it. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Throwing on third down. Hill. Got him in. He finds Sanders. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And he's going to keep it here. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one.
Hill looks to throw, and he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Josh Hill. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Saints now add six to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's who it is you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and ten. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Miles Sanders. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. And he stopped immediately there. Sanders, the ball carrier. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there, and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. And he's got this down to the 35. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he finds his tight end, it's Hurts. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It'll only be a gain of a yard and it sets up a third down and four now. A gain of a yard on the play. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. This will be caught in a pass. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Eagles touchdown. Touchdown. And the Eagles are back with it a score. That took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that. They got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up the first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. At their own 20 the offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of what... Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, 75 yards. And the Saints are able to strike quickly for six. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that, man. One play, 75 yards, in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. 
25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Malcolm Jenkins, the strong safety, swoops in for the sack. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. He digs them part way out of the hole that they're in. It's an eight-yard gain, and it makes it third and 12. Third and 12. Hurts. He can run for it, and he will. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Hurts, the best running quarterback in this year's crop of rookies. He's got a first down. Under the category of obvious, you hate giving up a first down on third and long. And somehow, he finds his way downfield and picks it up. And if you look at the coverage defensively, oh, this is great, but no one accounted for him at the quarterback spot. At some point, you actually have to tackle it and get him on the ground short of the first down marker. Brings up second and seven. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Here's Cameron Johnston now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. Cameron Johnston. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And well done here. That one will kick out of bounds at about the eight-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time. See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Now Hill looking to throw on first. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. At the 22-yard line. complete to Camara. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches. So they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A shotgun snap for Hill. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. 
Hill's pass. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Hill on first down. This is complete to Michael Thomas. Touchdown, New Orleans! Michael Thomas with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Lutz to kick off Ford After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Jenkins on the coverage. That'll be caught. Rager with it. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range at the 28. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And this one is right down the middle. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was Alvin Kamara who led the way in that first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. Fielded near the back of the end zone, and no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Brings up second and second down. Here's Hurts. And he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Hurt sets up to throw it. Throw left side complete. It's Sanders. 
And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Miles. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Trey Hendrickson credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run, and of course, get to the quarterback. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Accelerating and off he goes. Touchdown, New Orleans. Touchdown. Alvin Kamara, 78 yards. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't slow them down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half is getting this done, it's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? Will Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the... And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Fumble on the play. Recovered by New A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Uh, they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Three yards the game there, second down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 28-yard line. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Sanders, the ball carrier. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. It's a gain of two. Brings up third and five. Throwing his hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Hurts pass. Complete. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. 
at the Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield, and there's another completion. On first down, Hill. That'll be complete to Cook. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Play action, it's Hill. Flushed out right, he's gonna take off with it. And down inside the 15 he goes. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. A gain of three, second down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive and once again they show passing formation showing the shotgun then they ran out of it that's a nice play by them defensively though to hold it to a short game and that is incomplete the pro bowler michael thomas was the intended receiver and it's third down a lot of times it's that first read that you have maybe you get it in pre-snap he locked in on his target but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete Saints put six up on the board. Complete to Emmanuel Sanders. Just a great individual effort there to take that pop pass and scamper off into the end zone. And that's why offenses love that play partner because that gives them a chance to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers with a full head of steam behind them. It's often like a track relay. Legs two, three, and four. That first guy steaming ahead and he just hands it to you and you get a chance to take off and go before you even get the baton. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now. Really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half. Okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group. Going up. And Sanders has it pumped free. The Saints say they have it and they do. Sanders, the ball carrier. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. Following the fumble recovery, Hill. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Oh, nearly picked. Incomplete. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Out of the gun, Hill. And that will be incomplete. They suddenly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And he finds Cook. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 
That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The Pro Bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the Eagles' 12-yard line. Throwing on second and eight, Hill. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Lutz good on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Will Lutz to kick off for New Orleans. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it down to and punch it in on you, Hurts fumbles it, and this is picked up by the Saints, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Bearing it out deep for Smith. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Now a throw for the left sideline, and he's got it. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 12 yards there and a first down. His big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again. Stop it. The Saints ball carrier. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Seven yards there and a first down. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, Murray. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. It's second and inches. This is Murray. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Taking it in from a yard out. And this offense is running away with this one. As that lead just swells and swells. Look, this has been dominance in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So don't we have to give a lot of credit, not just to what we've seen today, but the preparation in advance, coaching staff, commitment by the players to the game plan, and being ready to go in this one? You're exactly right. Clean sweep. And boy, they're going to celebrate this one after it's over. And on the other side, this is the game film you just flush and never go back and review. Philadelphia's offense. Look, and they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over 
The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Brings up second and a yard at the 34-yard line. Second down. Here's Jalen Hurts. He'll get this into the hands of Travis Fulgham. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now the second down throw on target. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 12 yard for an eagle first down. First and 10 at the 28 yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Caught right side, it's Jeffrey. Three yards the gain there, second down. A three yard pickup brings up second and seven at the Saints 25 yard line. From the gun, it's Hurts. Stepping up, he's gonna keep it. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Onyemata brought him down. It's a gain of two. Brings up third and five. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Sean Jeffrey there to make the grab. And the Eagles are able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. Well, I do have one word for that touchdown for you, partner. You ready? Yeah. Cosmetics. <laughs> just makes things look a little better. I don't know. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. Yeah, and it's hard, it's hard to do, too. And the pig doesn't like the lipstick a heck of a lot, but you do like the fact that they're battling down the stretch, still trying to put something on the board, even though this game is over. By the way, how rude is that to the pig? Look at all the things they give us. Pulled pork, bacon. Deontay Harris on the return. The Saints take over first and ten. At their own. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. The outcome of this one, well, we know who's going to win it. Dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, a broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go to the player part because I think blowout is And Kamara has it stripped. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Football. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because... After reviewing the play, the line on the field is reversed. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara and only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. On the carry for New Orleans. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, partner, I know that this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, 
Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. Here's Hill now on second down. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Darius Slay on the cover. Now Hill. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. On first down, it's Murray. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Hills pass. A gain of four on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot. It's simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll run here. It's Murray. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. He was taken down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And seven. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. A three-yard gain on the play. Brings up third down. Tenth carry of the game now, Murray. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. For Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Philly.